is that more than 50 families are mourning the loss of a loved one in Norfolk. And tonight, a group coming together to support one another and begin to heal. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell has a message from the community as they work to end the wave of violent crime. Yeah, Beverly, these families are re really pleading for an end to the gun violence plaguing teens in Hampton Roads. They're also offering hope tonight to those grieving in a gathering they're calling gone but not forgotten. 15-year-old Christopher Edmonds, 25-year-old Antonio Atkins, and 29-year-old Pernell Taylor. Just some of the faces taken too soon by gunfire. This gun violence is taking a, a toll on all of us. I'm tired. November 12th, a day forever tainted for Janice Turan Taylor. Her only son, Pernell, shot and killed in cold blood in Norfolk 17 years ago. The agony and pain still raw. I've always been proud of him because he was a good boy. He was a good man. Now, I went out to his gravesite this morning and placed some more flowers in and talked with him. He should be right here with me. But he's not. I feel him, I feel his spirit, but it's not, it's, it's not what I want. Do not tell me that his pain is gone when mine is just beginning. Do not. Several families from Norfolk and Portsmouth coming together Friday to remember loved ones whose lives were cut short by gun violence. It comes on the heels of two heart-wrenching shootings just last week. In Norfolk's Young Terrace community, five women shot, three killed, including Sarah Costine, Nicole Lovewine, and her partner, Deetra Brown. And in the small North Carolina town of Ahoski, six people shot in a bar, 22-year-old Jaron Lyles dying from his wounds. But Friday, a chance to lean on one another as they move forward and find ways to end the senseless shootings. Taylor saying it takes the entire community. Every day, every day, there's a child or, or a woman shot down for what the gun violence has to stop the top has to come down and stop this and taylor says she wants to see tougher gun laws and now has a podcast where she talks about the grief of losing her son while offering hope and support to others going through the same thing antoinette elbel news three